think I used. Alright, yeah, let's see. Yeah, it was the those white flowers. If you lined yourself up with the light the light flowers. Now I'm gonna use my float fishing rod here. Now I <laughs> I still have it set up for for that. No, I think what I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use my matchstick one. Let me go to that one. There we go. What kind of bobber do I have? It looks like I have a good size bobber. Yeah, I'm going to try using some of this crawfish cut. And there's a reason why I'm doing that. Because bass love it. I mean, it is like ambrosia to these guys and I'm going to put a larger hook on here because we want to go for some larger fish now don't we I mean it would make sense I don't think I have anything larger at the moment with me so we're gonna try this and in this case we're gonna cast now the place I'm interested in is gonna be a little tricky because the line I have is not exceptionally strong. But if you throw this line right about here, if you overshoot it, just reel it in a little bit. Because that current will shoot. That's what I was afraid was going to happen. <clears throat> got it to release. If you can get it right in front of that, you're going to get some interesting things to happen. Okay, I've got this at 50 inches, guys, so it's sitting like right on the bottom, but that's exactly where I want it to sit. And like I said before, this crawfish cut is like ambrosia to these guys. They love it. Apparently it puts out an odor, and the largemouth bass come running. So we're going to... And it seems like I've already got some interest. Come on, dude. You know you want it. You know you do. Take it. Don't be a wimp fish. You know you're hungry. Eat it. Eat it. Just eat it. Eat it. If it's getting cold, we heat it. There we go. I've got him. I've got. Oh man, he is fighting me. Yes. All right. Very nice, very nice. Come on, man. Come on, Mr. Man. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, what have I got here? Oh shoot! Do not let that tension get down. That is crucial, guys. They will get off that hook if you let that tension get down. He is giving me a fight. Come on, Mr. Fish. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Oh, my God. He is not going to give it up easy. Come on. There we go. Nice. Now, that's catching largemouth with float fishing. Now, crawfish cut does cost, and you have to be kind of advanced. But when you get to that point, guys, you cannot go wrong with it. I mean, it is just wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. And you will get a heck of a fight, as you saw there. Just like I showed you right about here. And it is risky, like I said. You may get a snag. Do not let it. Now, I'm going to get a snag, but. Nope, 
I didn't that time. If you can get your you some heavy enough line for this, it's worth it. And right at 50 inches, you want to rest it right on the bottom like that, guys. It seems like I've had a lot of luck with this. See, I've already got another one interested. Now, for some reason, when I do the cast fishing, I can't get them. But float fishing? <laughs> and I have occasionally got them with night crawlers as well. Night crawlers and... I haven't gotten them with red worms because it seems like I keep getting the bluegill. Bluegill keep getting the, the red red worms, but maybe I haven't tried it long enough. I don't know. Come on, fish. We want us we want everybody to see another one. I'm hoping I can get a trophy this time, but Trophies are far and few in between anymore. Again, that's more realistic. It's the way it is, guys. Fishing is the way it is. You can go you can be the best fisherman in the planet. Nine o'clock. This is peak time, guys. But you can be the best fisherman in the planet. You can go on the best days and the best environment and there may be just nothing on that day. They could just be all around picky as all get out. And then there are going to be days when you're just pulling one in right after another. It's just a lot of times a luck of the draw. Now I'm trying to figure out if he's biting it or if that's the current. Could be the current. The reason I'm thinking that is because I'm not seeing that bar on the right light up at all. all right, I think I'm going to go ahead and reel it in. I don't think I'm getting any bites there at the moment. I did, however, want to try some of the float fishing over here by these logs. Just see. Now, I don't know what the depth is here. I've got this set to 50 inches, like I said. So, we're going to go with that for now. Okay, it, it's about 50 inches. And we'll see if there's any anything down there. I might go 60 inches if it doesn't do any good at 50. I don't know the 10 inches will make the difference, but we'll, you know, you never know. It's looking a little bit quiet. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. I, I bumped my mouse. The good thing is, is that because it's over here on the left, the current doesn't really grab the, the line and drag it along. Just a little bit. Get a little bit closer to that log and see if. Yeah, now it's more on the bottom. It seems like these guys are hanging down in the depths.
seems like the bass are slowing down a little bit. Yeah, see how the current is hitting that? Sure makes it look like something's got it, doesn't it? I just thought I'd try over here by these reeds, see if it does anything here. If not, what we're going to do is we're going to go on to fish for crappie or whatever else happens to be over here because I'm kind of curious just what we've got going on here. Now I know there's going to be crappie around those logs. I just knows it. Alright. It is time to change our bait and our hooks. So we are going to switch over. I think I'm going to go with an eight. Well, let's go with six. And might. Let's go with wax worms. That's always safe. And we're going to go about. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go 30 inches. We'll start there. If that doesn't get us any activity, we'll switch over to, to 50. It seems to me like these guys are running much deeper than they used to. Might be because of the sun, too. Let's reel this in a little bit. I'm going to get closer to these reeds. See if there's anybody interested. Come on, guys. You aren't going to give me some action here? Nothing? Nada? E -e -e -e. <laughs> nah. Oh, come on. You're killing me, guys. Well, that's one thing that's definitely changed. Crappie were definitely at 30 inches before, and they... I'm just not getting a whole lot of activity at 30 inches anymore. I mean, I do occasionally, but man, it used to be as soon as I hit the water, you would get, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, somebody's, somebody's going to make a liar out of me here. There we go. Bluegill. <laughs> oh, bluegill. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna try taking this. 60 might be too deep, but we're gonna try it anyway. Right where I had it before, right next to that log. Well, it's definitely deep enough. Of course, we could still be just getting bluegill. <laughs> but 
But that's not a just. I mean, bluegill are fun too. I mean, I don't get as much XP, but if this were real life, I would be getting my my dinner, because <laughs> bluegill are excellent, excellent eating. It just takes a lot of them. Yeah, I don't release fish if I don't have to. I eat them. <laughs> I am a big lover of fish. I love, love fish, guys. Just about anything that swims, I like to eat. Yeah, it's kind of surprising to me that that I'm not getting any bites over here by these logs. Wait a minute. I might have actually cast it out further than I thought. Reel this in a little bit and see if we get anything right chair. Oh, it's definitely not deep enough for that. Yeah. I'm not so certain. I think I'm getting a bite. I think 
it's just the current. All right, I'm going to try over here for a minute. Kind of curious what's going on over in this area. Just under, just right next to that rock facing. And it's definitely deep enough. See, I haven't really fished much over here, and I sure as heck haven't float fished over here. I might be just bluegill for all I know, but hey, you know. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Alright guys, this is going on to... What? Did I just get a bite? Or was that my imagination? I tell you, in real life this happens to me, but I can almost swear that things are moving. Nope, I definitely got a bite. Okay. I mean, it might be just bluegill, but... Fish is a fish is a fish. Come on. Don't be shy. Come on, fish. Come on, little fishy. My little friend. Come on. There we go. There we go. Well, he's bigger than I... C I don't know. He's fighting pretty good for if it's a bluegill. Yeah, that's a bluegill. Hmm. You're a tough little guy. I'm impressed. I'll take your picture. <laughs> tough little fish. Yeah, it looks like we got bluegill over there. I wish I could get on the other side of this rock. I really would love to be able to see what is over there. And it really drives me crazy that I can't get over there. Hmm. Guys, I want to put a pause on this because we are getting a little bit long on this recording. And I'm going to come back and continue recording. But if this happens to be the end of the video, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll keep doing this as long as we can as long as we can. You know, hey, this is fun. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll be back. Mm -hmm.